Five from Italia. I'm in Greece. Finally made it to you. Five from Spain. I'm, I'm in Bali. Five in San Trini, Greece. From a beautiful, amazing Tulum. It's Amanda from AmandaFrances.com here with another weekly wisdom drop vlog. So I got this question. I think it's really, really good. So Lynette asked me, I have two businesses. One brings in on average $38,000 a month. Fuck ton of money. The other is in a perpetual state of reboot. The one that makes the money is great, but not my passion, but it feeds my family. I keep stalling out on the idea that if I put more focus into the first business, I can get it to more money, 50 to 100,000 a month easily. But my passion is with the reboot business. How do you focus on multiple big things at once? Okay, so I have a lot to say about that. Cause yes, Part of it is focusing on multiple big things at once and the money mentality makeover people know this. Part of it is redesigning and rearranging and reorganizing the energy of any situation. So here's, here's the principle I want to give to everyone and then I have some things I want Lynette to look at. So the principle that I want to share with everyone is this. We have to be willing to blow up something in our businesses. Often we have to be able, we have to be willing to burn it to the ground. We have to be willing to give it up and rearrange it. So what I mean is I create digital courses and online training programs. There are some digital courses that I have created that are profitable. They are good sellers. They make money and I don't love them anymore. I don't want to sell them anymore. I honestly am okay if I never say the titles of those courses ever again. So my intention is to be willing to burn it down, to get rid of it, to let it go, knowing that I won't have to. And that's the key principle here, is that I know that I won't actually have to. So an example would be the Money Making Life Coach course. It's a great course. I've sold it for years. It's done very well for me. I'm proud of it. And I got tired of it. I got fucking tired of it. I didn't want to teach it anymore. So the way I blew it up and rearranged it and reorganized it and decided it got to be different was I launched it for one last time and let it be done. And I put all my energy into it and I let that be enough. And then I sold it one last time. But here's the thing. I didn't lose anything when I did this. The course now gets to be sold as a home study vibe course. So what I did was, the steps would be, okay, I don't love this anymore. Tell yourself the truth about what you want. I don't love this anymore. Step two, I'm willing to blow this up. I'm willing to burn this. I'm willing to reorganize and rearrange this. I'm willing to let this go. Energetically, let it go. And step three for me is, okay, now what's the solution of the highest good? How do I still make money off of this, but not how, have it eat up my time and energy anymore because it no longer feels good to me like it once did. So in my case, it's turning the course into a home study course, raising the price, launching it one last time, and not touching it anymore in my business. It will sit inside a funnel. People who sign up for certain opt-ins will be led to it. It will still serve me. It will still serve other people. It will still make money, but I'm not going to touch it anymore. But what came up for me with you, Lena, it's not that you give up the $38,000 a month business. It's not what it is. I'm not feeling that at all. It's that you rearrange it and reorganize it differently. And I don't know what the business is, but my sense was there's either someone else to run it or someone else to help with it or, or people to take over parts of it or ways to delegate parts of it to where your hands aren't on it all the time and it's not burning your energy all the time, but it still makes money. So I don't know if that means you're doing parts you love, or you're not doing any of the parts of it, or how it rearranges, but there is something there where this thing still gets to make you money. It might have to change forms a little bit. Okay, let me read what you're saying to me. 
I'm gonna hire out my position so I don't have to do any work with it, motherfucking brilliant. Yes, that is it. So you're delegating it, you're giving it to someone else, you're still making money off it, but you're freeing up your time and energy to do it your way. But this principle isn't unique to Lana or to me. I've seen it a million times. It's the energy of being willing to let something go. If I would have said, become a money-making coach, makes over six figures every year, there's no way I can burn it, there's no, it made multiple six figures last year, right? And easily this year as well. So if I would have said, I can't let it go, it's a money-maker, how do I live? I would have gotten myself in scarcity and crazy. So I just said, okay, I actually don't wanna launch it anymore. I want to, I'm willing to blow it up, I'm willing to rearrange it, I'm willing, I'm ready for a solution of the highest good. And in that, there was the solution of take, like I had recorded content that needed to be added to it, so build it out, add to it, get it where you're completely happy with it, get it ready for a home study vibe, sell it one last time, and let it be that, right? So it's not, I'm not losing, no one's losing, everyone's winning, and that's what a solution of the highest good is. So the principle is, tell yourself the truth, be willing to burn, rearrange, clear, let go of any of the things, knowing that you won't have to, because there will almost always, I haven't found a time this isn't true, there will always be a way to use it for your highest good, Stay tuned for more weekly-ish vlogs on designing a life and a business you're beyond completely wildly obsessed with. I love you. I am XO Amanda Francis on all the social medias. My website is amandafrancis.com.